Hi and hello there, and welcome to my Tableau quick tip on creating thermometer charts. A thermometer chart is a variation of a bar chart and is not too hard to create in Tableau. In this video, we are going to create a thermometer chart from start to finish. If you don't know what it looks like, this is it. Now, before we start this tutorial, a word of warning. Whenever creating bespoke data visualizations, always have a valid use case, especially when working on client sites or working on production-based projects. If you're using Tableau Public and you just want to have fun, knock yourself out. When building work for clients or work that is going to be of a professional nature, be very cautious, have valid reasons. So. With the disclaimer set, let's go into our data source. As you can see, we have two data sets or data sources. We have a country value, four countries, and a value which ranges from 0.9 to 0.3. Value represents a percentage. So 0.9 being 90%, 0.3 being 30%, 1 and 0 representing 100% and 0% respectively. And on the right hand side, we have path. This will be for data densification. We'll cover this in a moment. So what I want us to do is start by copying our main data set and pasting this into Tableau. So we are going to open Tableau desktop or public, whichever one you want, and just paste this data source in. Perfect. For my own sanity, I'm going to clear the view. I want us to now go onto data and right click, select edit data source. And what I want us to do now is add our data densification technique. So let's go back into Excel, copy the right hand data source, the path. And now I want us to paste this into Tableau again. Voila. Now we have an error. Do not worry. This is because our data sources do not have a common field which they can join. But we are going to create one now. So go down to create join calculation and select. Type in one. Click OK. On the other side, click on the drop down. Create join calculation. Type in one again and click OK. As you can see, what we've done now is produce a Cartesian join between the two data sources. Essentially, for every record in our left-hand data source, we are going to have it joined with every record on the right-hand data source. So essentially, because we have two records, we're doubling our data. If you don't know much about Cartesian joins, I highly recommend you reading about them because this is one of the biggest danger points in the whole of business intelligence. Imagine if you have 1 million records on one side and a million records on another, a million times a million, you're going to have a huge data set. And missed joins or badly formed joins is a root cause. Be very careful. Okay, lecture over. Let's close this and let's click on sheet one to go and start building our thermometer chart. Let's start by getting rid of this. I don't really need to see the clipboard. So right click, group by folder. We are going to start by creating a bin object based on path. So let's right click on path, go to create, go to bins, leave the name as it is, change the size of bin to one. Let's click OK. Next, I want us to create a calculated field called index. Type index minus one because we want this to start at 0% as opposed to one. Index always returns one and it returns the position within your configuration. Let's click OK. Brilliant. So I'm a big fan of creating some calculations, building something, create more calculations, building something more. That's what we're going to do now. Take country, drop that onto columns. Nice and easy. Take index, drop that onto rows. Even easier. Take bin and drop that onto rows as well. Right click on bin and make sure that show missing values is selected. It is, so we are all hunky dory. Change the mark type to line. Last step, drag path bin onto the path mark and let go. Second to last step. Now, right click on index, go to compute using, 
and path bin. Select that and boom, here we have it. We have a line made up of various dots. If we click on color, we can actually change the thing so you could see the individual dots that makes up these lines. But this is our first step. So let's move on. So this will act as our container. Let's move on to build our thermometer value. So first thing, right click on value. As we are using data densification, we need to wrap this around with a table calculation. So right click, go to create, select calculated field. Let's call this TC underscore value. Nice and easy. In the formula bar, we are going to write Windows max. Inside of that, we're going to put max and then value. So TC value, Windows max, max and value. Let's click OK. Perfect. Now we are going to create another calculated field and we are going to call it TC underscore thermometer value. Inside, I want us to put index multiplied by TC value. Nice and easy. Let's click OK. Let's drag this onto rows and drop it on the side. Do not panic. We have a lot of nulls. I want us to right click on thermometer. Go to compute using. Select path bin. And boom, here we go. We have 0 to 100%. And now for each country, we have our actual values. You can see we are getting there. Now, we are going to add a bit more, build a bit more. So what I want us to do now is I want us to create a size value. So I'll right click on a blank space, create calculated field. I want us to call this TC underscore size brackets. Let's call this container. So this is going to be able to allow us to set the size for the container, i.e. the index, the outer shape. Now from here, I want us to type if index is zero, then one, else zero and end. Nice and simple. Let's click OK. I now want us to take this and duplicate it. So right click, duplicate, and I want us to rename this now. Instead of container, I want us to put thermometer. Beautiful. Now, this is where things are gonna pick up in pace, but hopefully you'll enjoy it. I want us to click on index. So we're gonna modify what's at top. I want us to firstly, click on color and change it to gray. That'll do for now. I wanted to take TC underscore size container and drop that onto size. As you can see, we have a line and a circle and I now want us to modify this. Right click edit size. We, we are gonna adjust and tweak, so do not worry. That looks about right, I'm happy. Again, nothing's final, we could adjust again and again. Now I want us to click on TC underscore thermometer, and now I want us to drag TC underscore size thermometer onto the size. Lovely. So what we're going to do now is connect the two and then adjust a bit more. So if I click on thermometer, select dual axis, boom. Now I want us to right click on the header, synchronize axis, boom again. You can see we've actually built this now. We now just need to tweak. So let's hide the headers because we don't really need to see that anymore. We've synchronized them, we've done dual axis, hide the headers. Awesome. Now, when you dual axis something for some reason, well, it does it automatically. We have the measure names put into color. Let's remove that. We don't need any of that. Let's hide sheet because we don't need to see that. And now let's adjust the size. Instead of standard, I'm going to turn this to entire view. So I have a bit more space. Let's increase the thermometer size now. Just like we did before. 
let's increase this so that we are completely happy are we happy are we not a bit bigger i'm happy let's go back to the size of the container let's increase the size as well to make sure that it wraps around completely I'm going to change the color of the background as well, make it a shade bit darker. You could experiment as much as you want to. Here we go. So now you can see we have our basic thermometer. Now in TC underscore thermometer value, what I want us to do is drag value onto label. Don't double click by accident. Drag value onto label. As you can see, the value has appeared. I want us to now click on label, go down to line ends, and I want you to untick line end start. Can you see it? It now only appears at the start of the line. However, in alignment, I want you to click on the drop down. Under horizontal, I want you to select center as well as vertical. And what you've done now is display the value in your data visualization and put it at the center of the first point. This is good. Now I want us to right click on some value, go to format. In format, I want you to select the percentage and zero decimal place. I want us to increase the font. Let's change the size to, let's try 14, see what that looks like. A little too big, let's go for 12. Let's change this from Tableau Book to Tableau Bold. And let's change the font color to white. Not bad for now. Again, we could always adjust. Regarding formatting, let's actually remove the row divider and the column dividers. And also the grid lines and that zero line there. So right click on some blank space in your view, go to format. Click on format borders. Let's under row divider, pane, nothing. Column divider, none. So I'll step off to none. You see they've disappeared. Under format lines, let's go to rows and remove the grid line. So that's now gone. Also, let's remove zero lines. So that's now gone. Getting so much closer. Let's right click on Canada. Let's format the country label. Let's increase that to, let's make it prominent. Let's make it 12 and Tableau bold. Last but not least, we don't actually need the tooltip because as you see, there's loads of stuff there. So under marks and under all, go to tooltip. Let's just hide it for now. Almost there. So we've built our basic thermometer. Let's hide country, we don't need to see that either. Last step, what I want us to do is have a bit of fun. Under thermometer, I want us to now do the following. I want us to take TC thermometer value and drag it onto color and then panic. No, don't panic. Seriously, don't panic. I want us to right click on TC underscore thermometer value now, go to compute using and select path bin. And that's what I want. Now you have a smooth gradient from zero all the way to the top with the top being the darkest color. Again, we could have as much fun as we want with this as we now have a lighter bottom. You can format, change the font to dark so you could see it better. You can change the background color of the container as much as you want to to get the optimal effect. And here we have it. So let's review. This was my Tableau quick tip for creating thermometer charts. A thermometer chart is a variation of a bar chart. And as you can see, it was not too hard to create. The main thing is to use with caution and to use them to have as much fun as you can. But always use with caution. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please share and subscribe. Also, connect with me on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. There's a lot of things happening. And more importantly, I hope you enjoyed yourself. So until next time, 
Thank you very much for watching and see you all very, very soon. Take care now.